Hello everyone, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel another video on Revit Structures. So friends, in today's video, we'll show you how to create a steel truss or a steel portal frame in Revit Structures. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, we'll go to let's say North Elevation, we'll create our levels. So level uh, 0 will be our foundation level. Let's create the plinth level at a level of let's say a 1500. And we'll create another level above it so to do that we'll go to structure and then we can go to our levels and then choose this option of you know pick lines we'll take an offset of let's say uh, 4000 and uh, we'll just hover over our mouse to it and click here and the next level for our trust let's uh, do it as 1500 and we'll do it so we have created our required levels and after doing that we'll go to our level 1 and we'll, let's create some grids so for creating some grids we'll go to the structure option we'll go to the grids option and uh, we want to draw some lines here for creating our grids let's take a random line here and a perpendicular line to it so we'll just click on escape and again draw another line perpendicular to it so after that we can use this option of pick lines and give an offset of uh, let's say your 2000 meters so here to here here to here let's select three spans and from here also we'll select the that is one to three so after having you know done that we can just select any one of it Control Z you can click on escape and select any one of it and you can reduce the size if you want similarly for this also you can reduce the size of the grid so now we'll be working in this particular grid so first of all let's insert our columns so we'll go to the columns option and now you can uh, load columns as per your uh, you know country code which you want to provide so we'll go to load and you have like various options of countries here you can uh, select your country which you want or the uh, country in which we are going to make the model so we'll go to steel columns now and steel uh, let's go to India specific and uh, let's go to your ISA equal angle and this is we'll go to select this B column and we'll select this and uh, we can select the section from here let's go with ISA ISLB 400 so we'll click on OK and then click on ok and then we can click in here so you know after clicking before clicking also you can just press space option to you know um, specify the alignment so i want this alignment so we'll click on this and click on before clicking anything else you can just select this and you can uh, you know specify the base level so we'll do the top level first the top level should be your structure 3 level 3 and the bottom level should be base with an offset of 0 so we can apply this and afterwards we can uh, select the next column column and also we can check the top and bottom level later and you can assign the particular columns so we have assigned the two columns we'll say change or check the properties so we'll change this also let's do it top level to your level 3 and level 1 offset of 0 apply so after that we'll select this two columns select this and select this you can make this uh, uh, you know as fine so that you, the columns are visible so we can select this column and then select this column two columns have been selected as you can see here two rebars have been selected after that you can use the copy option and uh, make sure you select this option of multiple and after that you can copy this columns to all the required positions you need and you know after you do that you can uh, check it in the 3d view for opening the 3d view you can go to view default 3d view and the 3d view will open so as you can see if you rot want to rotate this you can just press shift and use the mouse middle wheel button to rotate this so so after this has been 
uh, rotated and after we saw this in the 3d view you can also you know just change this to shaded and you can see it properly so this is the uh, steel columns which we have created now let's create uh, some of our sections for our beams or rafters so let's go to the north elevation now after going to the north elevation we can select the rafters simply we can go to the option of structure here and uh, uh, before going to the before selecting any beam we can set our plane as to a particular level so if we go to level one and observe that let's set our plane as a reference plane as level two uh, sorry uh, two number of grid two number grid will be a reference plane so we'll go to north and we'll go to set and we'll set the particular uh, that is grid number two as our reference and click on ok so after we have done that we have to simply select our beam so we'll select a section for our beam we'll go to the, this option and we can load a particular beams which we uh, like so we will go to uh, we will select India and then now uh, we can select any profiles for our structural framing and then steel and let's select like this one and we'll select any shape of it is let's go with is lb uh, 250 and click on ok ok and after that we can simply apply this yeah so after having applied that you can check it in the 3d view so this has been applied you can select any section as per your uh, preference so you can do that so after having done that you can simply copy this to other parts so we'll, uh, you can go to the particular uh, level that is level 3 and if you just change the uh, type of visibility as fine you can observe this you can select this and you can select this also and after that you can uh, select the option of copy and then copy this from so we'll go to the 3d view so we can do go to the 3d view so level 3 view and then we can you know select beams structure and we can select the beams so we want to uh, select another uh, type of beam and let's go for a lower section like ismb 150 or 175 so we'll click on OK and we'll join this from here to here and join this from here to here. So after having done that, we can simply select these two and copy this from here to here. We need to copy this from here to here. So we are done now as you can check in the 3D view. So after having uh, done that you can simply assign another beams for our roof support so to do that uh, let's go to a 3d view and then let's set a plane so if we're going to pick a plane so we're going to go to set and we're going to click on pick a plane for that so we'll just click on the top of the rafter so can after that we can show this particular plane so this is the plane which you want and after that we can uh, simply go to the option of beam and we can select any uh, section let's select this one and we make sure the 3d snapping is turned on so we are going to use this uh, middle point to this particular middle point for the rafter so now we we'll can go to the particular north elevation and after going to north elevation let's turn on the wireframe view and after turning on the wireframe view let's just simply uh, move it so we want to move it from here to uh, a portion uh, below this so let's uh, edit the temporary dimension let's give it a dimension of let's say uh, 400 or 450 
and after that we'll click this is already selected we'll go to the option of mirror pick lines so we'll pick this line and after that we can check it in the 3d view so as you can see we'll turn off this option of show as you can see our after beams are ready so we can also copy this we'll go to level 4 and uh, we can simply uh, copy these two particular beams from here to the required portions so after that let's check it in the 3d view so our rafter beams are ready so we can see that our truss is almost ready for the remaining components we can complete so stay tuned to our channel for more upcoming videos on the connections of this particular steel structure that's all for today Bye-bye.